Hey, Hades, what do you think I should do for the intro for this video? No one gives a shit about your fucking intro, you shitterton. Get, get, just get the fucking video started. I don't care. For this tutorial, we're going to be needing five things. Two of them are our small rechargeable batteries. We have a YOLO rack, a YOLO rack chip slot with two ports, and then also a basic YOLO chip. Here's an example of how I decided to attach my batteries to the ship. I put them near the back, and then I grabbed my cabling, and I cabled to the nearest duct. Next, we're going to be renaming our data fields on each of the four batteries that is located on the laborer module in this case. Now remember, some ships are going to be significantly larger. For this example, I'm using my laborer because it's small and easier to explain on. If I were doing this on my manatee, which if you've seen my other videos is heavily modified, I would have to do this about 40 times because I've installed an additional 26 batteries. And what we're going to be labeling these as is we're going to be labeling it as STOBAT, which is just store battery. It's just a, a shortened form in the data field because when I work in code, I like to shorten everything down to things that I can understand. Remember, there are also two batteries located underneath the pilot seat if you are using the laborer. Most people don't know there are batteries located here, so I just wanted to give you a quick tip. The YOLO for this tutorial is rated at beginner, so no need to watch any prerequisite videos. In order for us to automate a generator and keep it reasonably efficient, it's actually only two lines. So to start, we use an if function, and the if function is asking the question to the ship, is the stored battery power less than or equal to 4,000? If it is, then that will set the generator to 100, which is turned on at full capacity. It will remain in this state until the stored battery power is greater than or equal to 9700, and then it will set the generator to zero, also known as its off state. Some people ask, why do I like to use the value of 9700? The reason is because there is a shutoff delay, and I don't want to waste power since I cannot go over 10,000 units. One thing that I did wish to ask all of you viewers here, just before we begin our conclusion, I go to university full-time, I also work full-time, and I stream and like to make content for you guys. If you have a suggestion for a video, please, please tell me, and I really want to thank this person from the last week because you just made my calendar schedule so much more flexible by doing this. This is also my Discord server. You're more than welcome to join us and suggest something in one of the channels, or you can DM me here, or feel free to leave a comment, alright? Cheers. Now let's insert our YOLO chip like so. Also remember to unbolt the generator button from your ship, because if you have a generator button on, it will also conflict with this script, and you don't want it to do that. Some other quick changes and possible suggestions that you can use. Because you're going to have extra MFDs uh, due to renaming these battery types, I chose to use generator and STO bat so I can know what the exact value is at all times. And while we fly around, we can wait until the STO bat drops below 4000 and you'll see our generator has turned on there and the unit rate and fuel chamber rate are slowly increasing. And there we go, that will save on fuel rod consumption. The pot is boiling over too long since I had a hold on The situation's getting hectic, baby, I can't slow down I need to let it out, I need to feel alive Are you catching my drift? Are you feeling the vibe? I wake and bake and eat take out like every day I don't fuck with no small talk, I don't care what you wanted to say I interrupt the conversation, I ain't really got no patience Tell me what you wanna